see you, girl. I see you, girl. Oh, yes, girl. I see you, girl. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to another video. I am Alexia Nicole and I'm living my life by design. So thank you all for joining me today. Just gonna get right into it. As you can tell by the title of this video, it is going to be a spring edition of Get Ready With Me. I don't do these too often because I'm not a makeup guru. I, can, I only know how to do my face. Um, but I'm home in Houston. As y'all can see, I got a new cut. It's springtime, summertime. Um, so yeah, I just figured why not do an update and I also want to do a update on my 2018 goals We're almost to June. We have about six days or so until June 1st So I figured why not just do an update on my goals. So let me show y'all a reminder of what my 2018 vision board goal board looks like All right, I don't really feel like moving my camera too much because it's set up so well So this is my board as y'all remember um, we had some fit goals on here, um, Keller Williams real estate stuff on here, strong and sexy, um, we have God right there in the middle, mind blown love, um, me being a Gemini, my birthday, just staying true to myself, um, choose joy up there at the top, fun, fearless life, I have a car there because I plan on buying a vehicle. Um, there's a house that's just sold because that is in my plans as well to buy a home for that's not a 2018 goal it's an age 30 goal um, go for the goal running a 10k and then 5k is for that's for YouTube to get to 5k um, and then just some travel goals as well so that's just a quick review of 2018 goal board so I'll kind of talk about that as we beat this face, right y'all? So as of right now, I just got out the shower. I don't have anything on my face. Um, I've been really, really into skincare this year. That wasn't a goal, <laughs> but it just happened because my skin had went crazy at one point in time and I was just breaking out everywhere. And I was like, girl, we gotta get this under control because that's not cute. So I'm just gonna show y'all really quickly what I've been using on my face. Um, I have the Fresh Soy Cleanser. I use this morning and night. That's just a face wash. Um, and then I also, oh, I forgot my cotton balls. Hold on, let me go get my cotton balls. All right, got my cotton balls. Denver was knocking on the door, so I had to let her in. So anyways, so I've also been using this Clinique um, toner on my face. Um, it's just, it says clarifying lotion, twice a day exfoliator. And they make this for all different types of skin. So oily skin, combination skin, dry skin, they have different formulas of this. I have combination oily skin. So this is the one that they recommended for me. Um, and I really do like it. It just gives like a nice, good cleansing. Because even with facial wash, I just feel like you always need to go through with something a little bit more. And then, you know, toner is really good for like the pores on your face, minimizing those. And they make different toners for different reasons. So whatever, you know, skin things you have going on, go to Sephora or whatever your favorite beauty store is and just do like a consultation and let them recommend whatever products. But, so, I try to use my toner morning and night. It's another twice a day. Sometimes at night, you know, just I'm tired. <laughs> so usually I always wash my face, but I might not do the entire regimen, but I try. Um, this is Peter Thomas Roth. Um, what is it? It's the Potent C Power Serum. I absolutely love it. It does a lot for like dark spots on your face. Um, wrinkly skin and all that stuff so I really use it as a preventative and to kind of clear up my dark spots um, it feels amazing once you put it on I just like apply it there just like that this is 
this y'all is really expensive it's $90 $89 and $98 so I use it very sparingly <laughs> I'm just like dang girl did you really buy that but I kept going to Sephora and getting the samples of it like the little itty bitty tubes that they give you and I kept going like weekly getting samples getting samples because I didn't want to buy it and then I, I was loving it like I absolutely loved it so I said you know what Alexia your skin is so important to you just make the investment because you would spend the hundred dollars in Zara on an outfit that you'll probably only wear one time so go ahead and take care of your face <clears throat> and then this um, moisturizer is by Fresh also. It's the Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. I got this as one of those samples that they give you at Sephora or those little 100 point things that they do. Focus in my eye. Um, yeah, so I got it as a sample first, a little small one. And oh my God, y'all, it says that this um, moisturizes throughout the day. So it constantly is releasing moisture somehow I guess from the lotion and it is so true like I can feel my face throughout the day just constantly staying hydrated like I never dry out and I used to dry out so quickly all the time so this moisturizer especially mixed with that um, Peter Thomas Roth serum baby it is a killer combination killer Denver, you can only be in or out, mommy. You can't, I can't keep letting you out and for you to come back in. So, you staying? You gonna stay? Oh, that's Aspen. Oh, let me go get Aspen. All right, no more interruptions. Both of the dogs are in here. <laughs> okay, so that's just what I do for my face. Um, nice and simple. Y'all know some days I wear makeup, some days I don't. Today, we're wearing the makeup. So, my face already feels amazing just from that simple. Those few little steps feels great. All right, so now we're gonna prime the face. I've been using this Cover FX mattifying primer that I got as a sample from Sephora. I haven't found a primer that I just like love yet, y'all. So, if you can recommend anything, it's so crazy because I said I was just getting dry prior, but I have really oily, super, super oily T-zone, especially when I wear makeup, of course. So, I haven't found a primer that I just love that really takes care of that for me. So, if you can recommend anything, please let me know. I'd appreciate it. So... We apply the primer um, and I've been doing this tip that Jackie Ina does on her videos she's my favorite YouTube makeup beauty influencer or whatever you want to call so she does her primer and then she sets her primer with a little bit of um, translucent powder so I'm just gonna do that right now with um, my translucent powder this is the Laura Mercier powder in medium deep I set the primer because this just kind of helps lock in the primer so it prevents you from like getting really oily which the primer is supposed to do just like you would set a concealer or anything else it just Helps it out a little bit more. Alright, so let's go ahead and tackle these eyebrows real quick. I just got them threaded yesterday. And sorry I'm not looking at y'all, I'm kind of using <laughs> the camera as a mirror also because remember I told you I'm not a professional so I don't have a full set up like all the beauty gurus do but I guess I could just use um, this little compact mirror that I have one of my Fenty highlighters that'll kind of help right so while I do these eyebrows I guess I can talk about 
ago. So let's go with the the fit goal for 2018. As y'all know, I had the 30 for 30 going on, and I'm not 30 yet. Today is Sunday, May 27th. My birthday is next Saturday, June 2nd. And I will be 30 years old. Yay, welcome to the 30 Club, girl. Which I'm surprisingly very excited about. Y'all know when you're kids, you just, you think 30 just sounds so old. <laughs> Was I the only kid that thought that like when you were little and somebody was like, even like when somebody said they were 25 or something, I was like, oh my God, you're so old. Um, but now that it's like right around the corner, I couldn't be any happier to be getting my grown woman on, for real. Um, so anyways, back to the goal of the weight loss. Um, have I lost the 30 pounds? No. I have not. Have I even weighed myself? No. Did I weigh myself in the beginning? No. I didn't, I'm not one of those people that likes to weigh themselves. I don't want to see the scale, the number on the scale. I can tell you that I was probably about 200, in between 200 and 205 pounds. And y'all are probably like, girl, Alexa, you don't even look that big. But baby, I am thicker than a snicker. Okay? It's just, I'm blessed because it all just kind of goes out proportionally. So it literally goes from my face all the way down to my feet. The weight just kind of proportions out. I don't look overly big in any certain area. But yeah, my weight packs, it packs on y'all. I'm five, eight, and three quarters. So I'm a, I'm, I'm a decent height and my weight is, is there. But a lot of people like to tell me I carry it well. But as you know, you're, you know, only you know what you feel comfortable at and what size you feel comfortable at. And I'm not super comfortable at this size. But um, as y'all know, I have been working out like quite a bit. Um, but I've also been eating quite a bit. Layovers, I enjoy going out and trying new cuisines and all of that stuff. So that probably hinders me in actually dropping the weight. But I have definitely seen a change over this past month and a half. I've been going hard. I don't know how many pounds that I've lost. Like I said, I'm not weighing myself, but I have seen some change in some of my denim, getting a little loose in the waist, and my work pants are starting to loosen back up because they had got really tight at one point. So, you know, and it's not a goal that I'm just gonna stop next Saturday when I, I hit 30 and I'm gonna be like, okay, well, you're 30 now, it's over with. No, I'm definitely gonna just, you know, keep going and just let things change naturally over time. I don't want to do any crash diets. I just want to slowly start changing my eating habits and getting back to a healthier me. So, okay, this is the thing with eyebrows. I can't talk and do them, so hold on. Let me just do these off camera. <laughs> All right, eyebrows are done. Remember, they're supposed to be sisters, not twins, y'all. These girls will never be twins, but they look good. Oh, I didn't even tell y'all what I was using. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip brow pomade in ebony so that's done <laughs> i wish i could see aspen <laughs> he, he just stared at me something serious like mommy what are you doing um <clears throat> and then i'm just gonna go in with a brow gel this is my brow food i ordered this online as before i've never seen it in stores but i really do like it so it's a tinted brow gel and I just use this to kind of hold the hairs in place throughout the day. Because if you're anything like me, I touch my face quite a bit, which is such a bad habit of mine. Um, but yeah, so I use this to hold the hairs in place. And the days that I don't actually fill in my brows with the pomade, I just use this and it also kind of gives it, it's a tint. So it just darkens, darkens them up a good amount. All right, so on to the makeup, makeup, the face, the face. So this little sparkly skirt is what I'm wearing today. I'm hosting my best friend's baby shower in like two or three hours, so I really need to get on it. Um, so I might do a nice little eye look, but let's go ahead and start off with the face. This is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in, the color 
New Caledonia, I think. It's the it's the dark too. Like when you go and buy it in Sephora, it just um, it just says dark with dark one, dark two, dark three. So this is dark two. Uh uh, ma'am, you stop that. They are, they are spoiled. They want to be downstairs, upstairs. My mom and my stepdad just got back from um, Aruba yesterday. So I think Denver is like trying to get down there. And she hears my mom. I guess my mom just woke up or she's on the phone. So she hears her voice. So she wants to go down there. But you, know, you chose to come up here and be with me. So you gonna stay up here and be with me. So this is a nice full coverage foundation. I really, really love it. It doesn't budge at all throughout the day. Like this baby is long wear for real. Um, it's nice and lightweight. Like I don't really like super heavy foundations, but I do like to have a good full coverage on my face. So. This foundation is the one I chose. I don't know if y'all watched my last vlog. Um, what vlog was that? Reserve Again, I think was the title of it. I was saying how I was trying out two different foundations, one that I had never used and one that I had used prior. And the NARS was the one that I never used, so I decided to go with this one. The other one that I had on was the Becca. Um, can't remember the name of it, but Becca. Let me let them grab because the crying is going to kick me off. Um, yeah, the other one was the NARS. And it's a really good foundation too. But it's a little thicker, you know. And I like I liked the weight of this one a lot. So, this is the NARS Longwear Foundation. Okay, next. Let's do a little concealer. I don't know if I want to go for like a matte finish look today or like a glowy look I'm not really sure I don't know um, I'm not actually gonna use these today but I just want y'all to know that I use these a lot when I am flying because they're so quick and easy to apply these are the Fenty Beauty match sticks um, and I have the color truffle that I use as my foundation suede that I use as a concealer espresso for a contour and then I have Riddick and Cinnamon as highlighters. So usually when y'all see me in my vlogs, this is literally what I have on my face because as y'all can see, they're magnetic, they stick together, they're really easy to pack, easy to go. And that's all I need. And I put a little powder on and a little lip and that's it. So that's my usual routine. But we're doing a different routine today. So I'm gonna go in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is in the color Hazelnut. Um, this is like OG concealer, like it is a great concealer, so many people use it, it's been around for quite a while. I stopped using it for a while and I was using a Becca concealer, which I really, really, really do love. Um, but this one just, you know, sometimes you just gotta go back to what you know. I still have my Becca and I still use it a lot of times, especially when I'm super tired and my eyes are looking like really like girl you need to lift a facelift I'll use that Becca concealer because it really does like just it like brightens your eyes up and everything that Becca concealer is this one right here it comes in a little tube like this it is called the ultimate coverage concealer and I use the color chestnut but like I was saying about the foundation about this too this is really thick as well so <clears throat> um, take sponge and we're going to blend that in. So when I'm feeling a little extra, which I'm feeling a little extra today, I'll be taking photos. You know, I really just want to look really glam today. So I don't usually like my under eye really bright, but today I just kind of want it to pop. So I go in with a lighter shade of the NARS concealer, the same one, Radiant Creamy, but this color is Walnut. So I'll just layer that on top 
of this one. And I don't do the full as far down as I did with the other one because I just want that brightness right under the eye. And um, I watch a lot of Jackie Anna, y'all. And she's always like, let the concealer sit a little bit. Let it do its work. Let it work its magic. So I'm going to let this sit. This I'm going to blend out because I don't want my chin looking like boom. Nor my forehead. You just want like a little touch of brightening up. And... All right. So... All right, what else can we talk about on um, the updates for the 2018 goal? So the running a 10K. So I have been using this app. It's called Couch to 10K. Um, and it it builds daily on your, on your running skills. So at first it started off with, you know, walk for five minutes, jog for five minutes whatever whatever and it's constantly built up now I'm at the point where I'm running 30 minutes straight on the app I'm at that point me necessarily it honestly just depends on my mental state like do I really am I, am I up for it today so but I'm definitely still training to run that 10k I might run it December 31st but I'm going to get it done in 2018 so I'm doing it, y'all. It's not the easiest thing because I'm just not a distance runner. Like, I've never been a distance runner. When I was in high school, I did run track. And um, I was a sprinter. I was a 100 girl, 200 girl, 4x1, four 4x2. Four and I did high jump. So, <clears throat> long distance running has just never been my thing. Um... I just use the Fenty Beauty Matchstick and Espresso for a little bit of a contour. So we're going to get this jawline. Let's put that cheek right there. And yes. I suck my jaw in like that to kind of get the definition <laughs> that I want. <laughs> and then the forehead area. So, yeah. So now I can go ahead and blend out what color did I say this was? Walnut. So y'all see that? How oh, like it just brightens it up. So now I'm going to set the concealer with my Too Faced Peach Perfect Mattifying Loose Setting Powder infused with peach and sweet fig cream. This stuff smells so good. Like, oh my god, y'all. It smells just like peaches and peaches and peaches and cream. Um, Y'all remember that song? Who sang that? Was, was it 112 or was it with those other groups? I was like in the 8th grade or something when that song came out. <laughs> and I was just talking to my friend last night. Um, I was at a wedding last night and, you know, they play all those old school R&B jams that you just know all the words to when you're young, but you don't know, like, the meaning behind the words. Like, you never actually put the words together and said, oh my god, this is what they're singing about? Yeah, back in the day, just singing songs, peaches and cream, didn't have a clue what they were talking about. So, um, 
And for me personally, I don't really bake bake. Like I don't layer it on too thick and let it let it sit. Cause I just like I don't like the way it looks. Like it it makes your face look extremely dry to me. So I just wipe it on and go. Mm, it smells so freaking good, y'all. I just, I can eat it. It smells so good. Okay. So what's next? I still don't know what I want to do with my eyes yet, so I'm going to hold off on that. Um, let's go ahead. Uh, I, I always like to double check and make sure that I've blended everything really good. The last thing I want to do is go out into some natural light and be like, girl, did you not look in the mirror before you left the house? <sighs> All right. So this is a blush palette by NARS. Um, it's the Wanted 2 Cheek Palette. Some really beautiful colors. So it has a little film on it and says, are you a narcissist? Oh, you can't see that. Are you a narcissist? These colors, huh, I absolutely fell in love with. So that skirt there is what I'm wearing. And that already has a, a ton of color in it. So I don't think I want my face doing too much. That's just me personally. Um, so I think I might combine these two blush colors here. I don't know the name of them. But that's what I'm going to use for blush. So I'm going to take this one. <clears throat> Excuse my sniffles. I'm like at the end of my cold. Oh, look how pretty that is. Okay, Alexia girl. I see you girl. Yes, girl, I see you, girl. I see you, girl. I see you, girl. Ooh, yes, girl, I see you, girl. Um, all right, next goal to talk about. Keep me on track. Uh, Lex Gemini 6 2 is my birthday. I just put that on there just to remind myself to stay true to who I am. And I have really done that this year. I don't know about y'all, but for, the, for those of you that are 30 or older or whatever, did you get to a point in your life where you started to like reevaluate a lot of your friendships and situations that you may be in and people that you're dating and things like this and say, okay, this is no longer good for me or we no longer make a good match as friends or or boyfriend and girlfriend, or whatever the case may be. Um, I'm not gonna say unfortunately, but I've had to do that this year with, um, what, two friends that I've had for quite a long time. And I'm not mad at it. Like, sometimes I just, oh, yes. Um, sometimes I just feel like, you know, you have people in your life for, what is it, for a season? Uh, Y'all, help me out. What is it? Everybody's in your life for a reason, season, something. Look, now, let me look it up. Hold on. Okay, so it's the quote or variation of the quote, but people come into your life for a reason, season, or a lifetime. And I truly believe that. Like, people cannot stay forever, regardless of how long they've been in your life. So, I had a friend, and we were really good friends, um, and it just, it just, this year, it just really showed that we no longer really shared a lot in common. Like, we were two different people, um, and sometimes there's just not any reason to carry on with the friendship. I was still always and forever love her with my entire heart, but... Sometimes you just can't have that daily relationship with people or weekly or monthly. It might just need to end. So, you know, and not all friendships have to end on a on bad terms or anything like that, but sometimes you just have to 
to move on. Do do you. Do what's best for you. Um, Y'all, I really like that blush. I think I kind of just want to go in with this color right here, too. Just like right there. Like right underneath the eye, just to kind of... Let me see if I like that. Oh, there's a big man right here. What am I doing? Oh, yeah. I like that. So, and then also just like dating, whatever. Sometimes you just have to make a decision to stop dating for purposes that you're not looking for anymore. If y'all know what I mean. Um, you know, when you're young and you're having fun, you just date people. You get to know them. You enjoy them. You spend time with them. And you may already know in the back of your head, this will never work out, but why not? Let's just kick it. Let's just have fun. I hit a spot this year. I was like, I'm tired of kicking it and having fun. Like, if you and I don't have the same goals and intentions in mind, then we don't need to be here. So, you know, I have definitely stayed true to myself this year. Those are just a few examples. I ain't going to give y'all too much of my tea, but, you know, things happen in life and you just have to keep moving forward reason season and a lifetime that's what you have to remember with people god gives you people for a reason a season or a lifetime if you all have been following me on instagram if you don't follow me on instagram go ahead and hop over to instagram as soon as you're done watching this video and follow me um i am alexia nicole dot life on instagram okay um, but I say that because I have been raving about this new highlighter that I got from DECA. It is just beautiful. Do y'all see that? It is called Chocolate Geode. I still don't know how to pronounce this. I'm probably slaughtering it. G-E-O-D-E. -E. Chocolate Geode, I'm assuming. Um, baby, this highlighter is everything on this melanated skin of mine. So usually I just go right here with, oh, see? Y'all see that? You don't, you don't need a lot like this. It's just like, just a quick little stroke of that. And it's so strong, I love it, but I like to just buff it out a little bit because <laughs> I'm just like, Lord. <laughs> Blind somebody with that highlight, I tell you. So that's my new favorite highlighter there. This is a palette that I have by Huda, Huda Beauty, Huda Beauty, however you pronounce her. The Mauve Obsessions palette. These are the colors. And I'm just gonna go with a nice neutral eye. Like, I don't wanna do a lot. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and prime my eyes with this is concealer. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the main thing on my board or the focal point on my board, which is God. Um, I, I hope that you all can tell through my videos that I am a very spiritual person. I'm pretty religious as well. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't want to get too deep into religion because you know it's just that's just not what my channel is about. But I love the Lord. I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe in the Bible from from beginning to end. Um, that's who I am. And before I started this job, I went to church every single Sunday. Every single Sunday, I volunteered at Lakewood Church here in Houston, Texas, and I absolutely loved it. And now, with this job, I'm not going to say it's not possible to go to church every Sunday, but it proves to be difficult just with, you know, scheduling. Um, but I definitely do, in every way, still try to remain balanced and always keep him first. Um, and I do that in the most subtle of ways. Um, every morning I wake up, I listen to my gospel music. Um, if I wasn't doing this vlog for y'all right now, I would probably be jamming out to some gospel music. It is Sunday. I definitely still love the Lord. I keep him first in all things that I do. 
when I'm on the plane and somebody's testing my patience, I stop and I pray. <laughs> like, it's funny, but I'm beyond serious. I, I stop everything I'm doing and I just, you know, I pray that the right things come out of my mouth and I do what I need to do to maintain my job. Um, yeah, that's really about it on that subject right now. So yeah, just for me, just keeping him first, doing everything that I need to do, um, paying my tithes is really, that was really another goal for me that I didn't put on that board, but just making sure that I was getting the first tenth of my income to the church house and things like that. So I do that. I, I do whatever I feel like needs to be done to keep my personal relationship with um, God where I want it to be. So I think we should sparkle a little bit. What do y'all think? Maybe add this little sparkle right here. Oh look, there you go. Um, yeah, just a just a little bit, right? Maybe just right there. So the other goal on here is purchasing a vehicle. And you know, I did say that I wanted to do that um, actually around this time of year for my birthday. But at this point, it just really doesn't make any sense because I'm just not home often enough. And to pick up another bill, another car, a car note right now is just, it don't make no sense. So I did end up selling my car um, because it was just sitting there collecting dust. My mother and my stepfather weren't doing anything with it. And I just figured, you know, why not just just get rid of it, let it, let it go. And I got really emotional when I let it go. It was so weird. I'm just like, Alexia, girl, you're so silly. Um, but yeah, so the goal is whenever I come back home officially and like get my own place, whether that be an apartment or a house, then I'll need a car because public transportation in Houston is basically non-existent. Like we have a metro bus and I don't, I don't even know how well that thing works, but we don't have a, a train system or anything like that here. No subways, nothing. Um, which is kind of crazy for Houston to be such a huge city and we don't have anything like that, but we don't so I would definitely need a car once I'm back home full-time so that will just kind of It's not a necessity So I'm just gonna put that off a little bit um, The home goal though the home purchase goal is a necessity regardless of how often I'm here. I was talking to a friend the other day trying to explain to them that they were like, well, why would you want to buy a house and you're not here? And some of y'all might be asking the same thing, but <clears throat> something that I realized um, about being a flight attendant, especially a junior flight attendant, especially being based in New York, and this might just be my personal feelings. I don't really know if anybody else feels like that. But if you are a flight attendant and you're based in New York and you live in a crash pad style home or you have roommates or anything, please comment down below and tell me if the feelings that I'm expressing are something that you have felt before too. But I really feel like a nomad, y'all. So y'all know like New York is it's not my favorite city to live in. I really do enjoy the city. I like going out on my adventures and things like that, but it's definitely not my favorite city to live in. Um, so whenever I am there, it doesn't really feel like home for me. Um, yeah, it just, it doesn't feel like home. So, and then I'm always on the go, always, y'all know, y'all watch my vlogs. I'm here, the, I'm here one day, I'm there the next day, Boom, 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 boom. And then when I do come home, I'm here for 
max six, seven days. Like this weekend, I'm really only here for two and a half days. Um, so yeah, I just feel like I don't necessarily have a home anymore. Um, and of course here, Houston is home at my mother's um, and stepfather's house. This is home. This is where I was living before I started this career. Um, so it's not really any different, but I'm just, I'm turning 30. So I'm getting to the point where I just want my own and I want it here in Houston. So I'm ready to buy a house regardless of how often I will be there or won't be there or, you know, you just never know what life brings. And financially, buying a house is just a smart investment to me. And y'all know I think that because I'm a real estate agent. I'm gonna always think that. So I just added some concealer under my eye because I, I honestly forgot to do that in the beginning. And yeah, so now I have to try to blend this out over this eyeshadow. It's not usually the way I do things, but I got sidetracked talking to y'all. There we go. Um, so yeah, buying a house is definitely still happening before I turn 31 years old. Even if it's June 1st, 2019, I'm going to buy a home before I turn 31. That is the goal. So, all right. What do y'all think about the eye? It's nice and subtle. Just kind of bring a little bit of that color back up since I had to cover it up. I like to contour my nose right here just to kind of I'm using the Fenty Beauty Espresso Match Stick again I think that's pretty much it for the face. The last thing I'm going to do is add some lashes. Every now and then I get in the mood to put on a lash. I'm not an everyday lash girl, y'all know that. Um, I just, I, like I was saying earlier, I touch my face way too much. I rub my eyes way too much to deal with um, individual lashes. I think individual lashes are beautiful but they don't last long on me and they cost too much for them not to be lasting um, more than two weeks. So if I feel like doing a lash, I'll just throw on a strip. So just putting on a little mascara on my natural lashes right now. And then I'm going to add some lashes that I have. Don't ask me who they're by, what they are. I don't, I don't remember. So while I wait for the glue on the lashes to get tacky, I'm gonna go in with my Bobbi Brown bronzing powder in deep, deep four. And just kinda hit like right here just to kind of warm me up a little bit. Okay. All right, so lashes are on and that is about it for the face. Oh wait, lippy, how can I almost forget? Let me go ahead and um, Set my face though. This is the Marc Jacobs Perfecting Coconut Setting Mist Spray. So it gives you a nice glowy, hydrated look. And usually I'm gonna actually use both. <clears throat> so I'm going to do the Too Faced for, which is the mattifying setting spray for the T-zone of my face. And then 
and just a little one. And this smells really good too. I'm telling you, all those Too Faced products smell so good. And then just because I want my highlight to kind of just pop, it's summertime, why not? Um, this coconut setting spray, hydrating spray is like really pretty. It kind of does that a little bit. <laughs> All right, last but not least, we're gonna do a lippy. This is a older lipstick that I have by Kat Von D. It's like a lavender, it's called Coven. And then I got these Fenty Beauty, the Summer Days collection that just came out. Um, lip balms, lip glosses. Layer that on top. And that's it, y'all. Oh, I haven't worn like this color purple in a long time. <laughs> but I think it will pair nicely with my skirt and stuff. I did say I didn't want to do a lot on the face, right? I ended up doing a lot. <laughs> Anyways, let me get um, up out of here. I'm going to get dressed at the venue because I'm kind of going to be going back and forth and doing a lot so i don't want to do that in that sparkly sequin skirt so i will give y'all a full look once i put on my clothes and everything all right guys so made it to the baby shower this is the end look face outfit say hi that's the baby mama to be say hi shayla hi this the other host <laughs> Anyways, y'all, thanks for watching this. I hope you enjoyed my spring get ready with me update. <laughs> Gotta go. Bye. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. <laughs> so it's a little dark, but I wanted to show y'all the final look for the outfit. Somebody asked me to do more outfits of the day. So here it is. Cute, right?